Hey guys, I am Akshay from bbomb.com and as you all probably know, I am an iPhone user and I'm sure a lot of you guys are as well. Well, in all my time using an iPhone, I've come across some really cool settings that even I wasn't actually aware of. So I thought, why not share them with you guys? Well, in this video, I'll be telling you about 10 iPhone settings you should change right away. So what are we waiting for? Let's get started. Opening links in Safari is a pain because it automatically switches over to the new tab. If you dislike this behavior as well, here's how you can fix it. So within the settings app, you can just go to Safari. Here, scroll down and tap on open links and set it to in background. Now, whenever you open a new link in Safari, you won't be automatically switched away to the new tab. Instead, the link will open in a new tab in the background and you can continue browsing without any problem. By default, iPhones allow access to the control center and the notification center even when they are locked. If you want better security on your iPhone, you should disable this right away. Just go into settings and tap on face ID and passcode. Once you've entered your passcode, just scroll down and disable the toggles next to control center and notification center. Now your iPhone will not let anyone access the notification center or the control center until it is unlocked. So random people won't be able to change your iPhone settings. Most of the time, I like to use my phone on low brightness. However, with apps like YouTube or Call of Duty Mobile, I really like to use high brightness and changing the brightness every time I open the app is just a pain. So I made an automation to help me with that. Simply open the shortcuts app and tap on automation. Create a new automation and select app as the trigger. Choose Call of Duty as the app and tap on done. Now within the automation, select add action and search for set brightness. That's it. Just make sure you disable the ask before running toggle here before tapping on done. You can create similar automations for other apps with any settings you like. It's pretty cool. Moving on, there's a hidden album in iPhones to hide your sensitive photos. But if someone opens your photos app, the hidden album is literally there with the name hidden, which is just stupid and counterintuitive. Fortunately, you can hide this album. Just head into settings and go to photo settings. Here simply disable the toggle for hidden album. This will hide the hidden album from the photos app. So at least it won't be staring you right in the face all the time. If you like to take a lot of selfies, this is one setting you should definitely change to get better selfies from your iPhone. Just go to settings, tap on camera and enable the toggle next to mirror front camera. Now, whenever you take a selfie, the final image will appear exactly the same as it appears in the viewfinder instead of getting flipped. One really irritating thing about the iPhone is that you can't lock apps. However, if you really want to lock your apps, there is a workaround hack or a jugar basically that you can use. Just go to screen time settings inside the settings app and tap on app limits. Add a new limit for the app you want to lock. For example, I'll set the photos app. Set this timer to one minute, which is the shortest time available and then tap on add. Now check this out. The photos app is grayed out. If someone tries to open it, they will have to enter your screen time passcode. Unfortunately, this is the only way to lock apps on iPhone so far. But yeah, if you really need to lock your apps, you can use this method for sure. iPhones these days take photos in the new HEIF format, which is a pain if you want to share these photos because most devices still don't support HEIF format. Heck, even some Macs older than macOS High Sierra can't open these photos. Basically, you should just disable these. Simply go to settings and then to camera settings. Here, just head into formats and select most compatible to capture photos in regular JPEG format, which will work in almost every device out there. Next up, if you are annoyed having to take off your mask to unlock your iPhone every time, you can actually use your voice to unlock your iPhone as well. In settings, go to accessibility. Here, go to voice control and enable it. Now, go to customize command and tap on create new command. Enter the phrase you want to use and under action, select run custom gesture. 
Now just tap on the places where your passcode keys will be and save the gesture. That's it. The next time I want to unlock my iPhone with a mask on, I can just say Caput Draconis. And much like the Gryffindor common room in year one, my iPhone just opens up. That's pretty cool, right? You can also create similar commands for other things such as taking pictures if you're trying to take a group photo and your iPhone is far away. This setting is for people who take a lot of photos on their iPhone. If you want to up your photography game, you really need to work on your framing and this setting can help you with that. Simply go to settings and scroll to the camera options. Here you can enable the grid toggle. What this does is basically it enables this nice 3x3 grid within your viewfinder so you can align photos better. Plus a lot of people don't know this but if you take top down photos a lot, you also get this handy level that can help ensure your phone is completely horizontal to the ground for better photos. Neat right? Lastly, there are a lot of system services running on your iPhone that you can disable to have a better experience. Here's how. Go to Settings, Privacy, Location Services. Scroll down and tap on System Services. Now, no one uses Apple Maps in India, so you can just go to Significant Locations and disable it. You can also disable HomeKit if you don't use that, as well as Apple Pay, which isn't even available in India. I would also recommend that you disable iPhone Analytics here. That was a lot of system services we disabled, but there's more. Go back to privacy and tap on analytics and improvements. Here disable the toggle next to share iPhone and watch analytics to send even lesser data to Apple. Well, those were 10 iPhone settings you should change right away. There were a lot of settings here for better photography, better privacy, and even some fun ones for unlocking your phone with your voice or automating settings based on apps. Hopefully you guys found some settings useful for your day-to-day -day usage of your iPhone and definitely let us know which settings you're gonna change in the comments. Also give this video a like and share it with your friends who are iPhone users. Lastly, subscribe to our channel for more amazing tech videos. That's me signing off. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next one.